Hey viewers, one of the questions that I've been asked multiple times is about stiff shifting. The shifting just doesn't uh, move as smoothly as they feel it should. Um, unfortunately, there's not a, a short answer for that. Because the, the problem can be in uh, one or more places. The places where it might be is the derailleur, the shifter, or the uh, cable housing uh, and cable itself. Um, Anyway, I'm going to show you how to isolate the issue and fix it. Now, most times the issue is going to be in the cable and cable housing. So, by default, I'm going to go ahead and replace that uh, for the fact that uh, that's something that it doesn't hurt to replace periodically anyway. So, I'm going to cut the cable right here. And I'm going to check the, uh, the rear derailleur. That's pretty easy to check, but I'm going to take the rear wheel off to do that. So now, to, just to test the rear derailleur to see how uh, smoothly it moves, is you can just sit there and just manually manipulate that. And this actually moves pretty smoothly. So even though this uh, derailleur is moving pretty smoothly, as is, I'm going to lubricate it anyway. If it was not moving smoothly, uh, you want to clean it, clean it out and lubricate all the pivot points. Just... And there should be about like uh, eight major pivot points. Just get a little bit of uh, chain lube or uh, light oil in there. I'm using uh, TriFlow. Like that, can I get it worked in? Yeah, I'm using uh, TriFlow and so I lubricate those pivot points. And so it's moving nice and smoothly like that. And I'll kind of get it worked in. Then just take a uh, towel or something, a rag, and wipe off any excess like that. So that, that's working pretty, pretty well. Uh, if after lubing it and it's still not working uh, smoothly, uh, you may look at replacing the derailleur because maybe it's damaged. Okay, next thing to check is the shifter. Since I have the cable cut, it should be uh, moving pretty freely. So I can test that. And this is actually moving pretty smoothly. Um, this is a grip shift. Uh, so your bike might have a different type of shifter, a trigger shifter or an STI shifter or uh, whatever, but it doesn't really matter. You just want to test the shifter and it should be uh, moving pretty freely. If it doesn't, then you're going to have to look at uh, cleaning it and lubing it. And so depending on what kind of shifter you have, uh, it's going to be clean and lubed in a different way. I have a video out there on how to clean and lube grip shifts. I have other videos on how to uh, fix trigger shifters and STI shifters. So if you look through my videos, you'll see some of those. But So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart, clean it, lube it, um, but I'm not going to show that on this video because it's already have a video out there on that. So, Okay, I've got the shifter cleaned and lubed and it's moving a little smoother now. So uh, next thing is I want to work on the uh, shift cables. So in the cable housing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut uh, brand new pieces of cable housing to replace the old ones. I have some brand new cable housing here and so there were two pieces of cable housing for the rear derailleur. I'm going to cut two brand new pieces the exact same length as the originals because I'm not really changing anything. So I got a box of cable housing here so I just match this up along here. Cut a piece here and as always, I recommend having a nice, uh, good quality pair of cable housing cutters. These are from Park Tool. Uh, Pedro's makes some nice ones too. But, uh, and no, I'm not sponsored by Park Tool. But if they want to send me tools, uh, free tools, go ahead. But no, I'm not sponsored by them. I just recommend having good quality tools. So I cut the uh, cable housing there. And I'm going to use an awl here. And I can spread this press this down in there and that'll help open up the uh, lining, the plastic lining inside the cable housing here like that and then usually what I'll do is I'll take a bit of a uh, cable, press it through, make sure it goes through nice and smoothly and actually it's kind of clogged at the other end there okay so I got it out there so again take this all 
Press it in there, kind of open up that so that the cable will go through there nice and smoothly there. Now, when I have the, uh, the cable piece cut, I have some uh, ferrules. Uh, these are uh, four millimeter uh, ferrules designed for shift cable housings. So I'm gonna press these onto each end. And you wanna make sure that the uh, ferrule is uh, fully seated on there because you don't wanna have it almost all the way on and then as you're adjusting the, the uh, uh, shifting and have it kind of compressed more on there and then you have the uh, shifting all messed up and you have to redo it. So make sure that the uh, ferrule is fully seated onto the housing. Now you want to install the new cable into the shifter and depending on what kind of shifter you have uh, the method is going to change. On this particular type of grip shift I pull back this little rubber here and then I can insert the cable into there. And I can push the uh, cable through and pull it out this side here until the uh, end of the uh, cable is fully seated in there. Then I can reseat that rubber there. And then I can take the other end and push it down here so that it comes through the barrel adjuster. Then I can, I can check the uh, cable, make sure that it uh, moves there with the uh, shifter and everything's working pretty good there. Now I can install the uh, first uh, bit of cable housing here from the shifter down to the cable stop. So just slide the cable into there, comes out through the bottom there, get the cable housing sit, seated into the shifter, into the cable stop there, and then I can test the uh, shifter, that moves nice and smoothly there. Now I'm not going to uh, lubricate the cables or cable housings in any way as the uh, plastic lining in the cable housings uh, allow it to move smoothly and actually most manu manufacturers recommend against lubricating the, the, uh, the cables, cable housings. But one thing I am going to do is the little cable guide underneath the bottom bracket there, I'm going to uh, make sure that it's nice and clean. Just use a little bit of toothbrush with some uh, soapy water and just kind of scrub that, make sure that there's no debris in there and allow the, uh, the cable to uh, slide smoothly through that. And then I can slide the cable down through the cable guide there. And before I install the new cable into the rear derailleur, I can uh, remove the uh, fragment of old cable out of there. So just remove this like that. And I'm gonna take this barrel adjuster and I'm gonna turn this all the way in like this. And then maybe just turn it out maybe a turn, turn and a half, like that. That'll give me some room to adjust it. And then I'll take the cable. I have my new bit of uh, cable housing here that I cut for back here. Slide the cable through. Seat it down into the cable stop, like this. Feed this down through the barrel adjuster. Get this all seated in there. Nice. Like that. And then I'm gonna uh, pull this cable tight. I'm gonna have the shifter shifted all the way down into the, uh, for the, uh, the smallest cog there. Pull the cable tight and then mount this into this little uh, cable clamp here on the derailleur. And I'll tighten this down, but I'm not gonna really clamp it down quite yet because I might need to adjust that. Now I can check the shifting. I'm probably gonna have to uh, fine tune the shifting. One notch, one notch, one notch, 
one notch up, it went up two notches. So I'm going to turn this in just a little bit here. Let me see. Okay, I think I about have the uh, derailleur adjusted so where it's uh, shifting uh, nice and accurately. Still might need a little bit of uh, fine tuning this way or that way when I get out there and test ride it. But looks pretty good on the stand right now. So I'm going to tighten uh, this uh, cable clamp bolt all the way down. I'm going to cut the uh, shift cable here, uh, leaving maybe about an uh, inch and a half there. And then I'm going to put a uh, crimp end on there to uh, keep the end of the cable from uh, fraying or stabbing anybody. Like that. So now the, uh, the shifter is moving much uh, more smoothly than it was before. I don't have to really muscle it to get it to uh, turn. Anyway, that is how to uh, fix uh, stiff shifting on a bike, uh, whether it be a mountain bike or a road bike, whatever. You know, basically, just the components change, but the, the process is the same. Isolate uh, out the different components, the shifter, the derailleur, the, the shift cable housing. Uh, most likely replacing the shift cable and housing uh, will uh, solve a lot of the issues, uh, but looping everything up and getting everything clean. Anyway, I hope you found that uh, useful or interesting. If you did, please click like on the video. I always appreciate getting likes on the videos. It helps me out. And uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button and you'll see new videos as they come out. I'm always coming out with new videos uh, as I work on different things. And I'm also over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, uh, like that page, and I post a lot of stuff over there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.